and now it's time for the Hamiltonian. All the years and days and hours of waiting are history now. This is what these grand circuit horses have been pointed for, what they have been bred to do. The one that wins two heats takes the money. The race could require three or four heats before a decision is reached. The marshals lead the horses out, and now they are on the track. Leading the parade is the six to five favorite, Newport Star, winner of six out of nine this year. In order behind him come the following horses and drivers. Newport Mascot with Dana Cameron, Newport Champ with Stanley Dancer, Helicopter with Harry Harvey, Singing Sword with Dale Miller, Sir Lowwater with Jimmy Arthur, Victory First with Curly Smart, Abbott Song with Carl Larson, Simpson Hanover with Johnny Simpson, Kimberly Kidd with Tom Mary, Peter Lynn with Harry Padal, Horse Hanover with Jimmy Wingfield, Bewitch with Henry Myatt, Allure with Fred Egan, L.B. Hanover with Frank Irvin, King Nibble with Harry Whitney, Ariel Gunner with Harry Short, Selby Hanover with Stan Tweedy, Famous Hanover with Dick Weber, Fighting Frisco with Alan Meyer, Ben Gazy with Dick Williams, and Express Colby with Dee Stover. The Newport Stock Farm and the Dell Miller Stable each have three in the race. Castleton Farm and the Allwood Stable each have two. Man, how do you pick a winner in this field? As the trotters go through their final warm-ups, drivers check their equipment, horses gate, and the thousand and one other little things that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The Newport entry on the Grand Circuit President Octave Blake is still six to five. While Bewitch is five to one, the Castleton entry six to one, and the Allwood entry eight to one. The crowd presses in along the rail, and a few customers climb out on the roof for a better view. Programs are checked against a last-minute change of heart or allegiance, and it's almost time for the big show to begin. And now they're at the starting gate. Steve Phillips sits coolly at the controls of the big mechanical device which has revolutionized the sport and caused the horses to him. Now the gate begins to move, and Newport Star, the favorite, is acting up there in the rear. And the assistant starter leads him into place, and there he comes, beginning to glide smoothly through the bulky field toward the number three post position he drew the lot when the entry box was opened two days ago. The horses will go a mile once around the track. They're in perfect alignment as they hurtle down toward the starting line with only Ancora Hanover there at the rail off stride. Look at them go in a wonderful start. Here they come, battling for position. Whoops! In the rear, the Philly helicopter made a wild break. As up front, Peter Nibble in the middle of the track throws up to challenge Peter Lynn for the early lead. Around the turn, it's Peter Lynn on top with Peter Nibble second on the outside, and it'll be Hanover third. Down toward the checkered half mile post they move, with Peter Lynn still cutting up the pace, and Peter Nibble hanging on gamely in second place. Express Colby is third, LB Hanover fourth, and Morse Hanover fifth along the rail as they pass the half. And now from far back and on the extreme outside comes the favorite, Newport Star. Driver Dale Cameron has him in high gear, and he's really eating up the ground. He's fourth, he's third, and he's still moving. They reach the three-quarter pole. Newport Star has the lead by a head over Peter Lim, with LB Hanover third and Express Colby fourth. Singing Sword and Morse Hanover are coming fast, but up front, it's all Newport Star. He has a clear two-length lead now, and it looks like it's all over but the shouting. But maybe not. Singing Sword with Dale Miller whipping and driving is coming like a hurricane in the middle of the track. And on the outside of him, that's Morse Hanover with Jimmy Wingfield rallying his horse brilliantly in the drive for the wire. Look at that finish. It's a three-horse race as they come to the wire, but Morse Hanover gets up to win by three-quarters of a length over Singing Sword with Newport Star third. Oh, darn it, wrong horse. Morse Hanover's winning time for the mile distance is two minutes, one and three-fifths seconds. Exceptionally fast. He was 17 to one and paid 36.50 for two dollars. The son of Dean Hanover is owned by the Milky Way stable of Rockfield Center, New York, and if he can win another heat, the Hamiltonian is all his. Eighteen years ago, the winning driver, Jimmy Wingfield, out of Rome, Georgia, was the groom for a horse called Greyhound, when that fastest of all trotters won the Hamiltonian in his three-year-old form. Jimmy had liked nothing more than to repeat as a driver. The pay is much better. Back in the paddock, preparations for the next heat are already underway. 
Literally, there's no rest for the weary. Oh, yes, order of finish in the first heat, Beckamore sent over, singing sword of Newport Star, West Lake and Frisco, victory's first, famous Hanover, L.D. Hanover, Kimberly Kidd, Express Colby, have a song, Peter Lynn, Allure, King Nibble, Ariel Gunner, B. Witch, Newport Champ, Helicopter, Ben Gazy, Sir Lowrunner, Ancora Hanover, Simpson Hanover, Shelby Hanover, and Newport Mascot. The big crowd is settled back again and waiting for the second heat. 